Hey guys, good afternoon from beautiful sunny Mazatlan where it is beautiful and sunny as always. And I'm with a new friend I just met, Cheryl. And she's from Florida. She's from Tampa originally, but she lives here now full time, see? And uh, I just, just bumped into her through Friends in Common. And we're just gonna film while Cheryl talks to me because she's a great storyteller. She's wonderful. And, and Cheryl? What, what should we talk about next? I don't know, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, uh, talk, about try, talk about how you get the idea to move to Mexico. Um, well, I, I did that stint in El Paso where I worked. Uh -huh. And when I went to Ciudad Juarez, I was the tallest girl there. I was very tall, and I'm not that tall anywhere else. And I had an Influente card, because I did the mayor of Ciudad Juarez's hair. And he gave me a card that says, if you mess with me, <laughs> look who I know. <laughs> so I never got messed with it all. And one day I just knew I would live there. Of course, El Paso was not the place to live. I have been told. Yeah. If the I, I, I've ridden through El Paso. Hola, Martin. There's our... Shushang! Shushang guy. You, you pay me for the picture? This is Shushang. The Shushang guy, number one. <laughs> Pero, this is Shushang. Shushang! Yeah. Martin has a shoeshine kid on his bicycle and he come around with shiny shoes here in uh, Olathalta. Very nice bicycle. Very nice bicycle. Very nice bicycle, me too. Yeah. He's, he's the only guy I know that came back from the dead. You'll have to look at my videos to find out how that happened. <laughs> how'd that happen? He, he died for... Cuando dias tu es muerte? Tu doce? <laughs> two years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two years. He died. Yeah. Everybody had him dead. <laughs> and we've all been close to death a couple yeah. times, but never declared dead. You know? So we're in El Paso now, and you go across to Guadalajara. And I, I, I liked El Paso because I, had, I was sent out there to work. But I have been told that if the world needed an enema, that's where they'd stick it. Yeah. In El Paso. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the crime rate, a lot of the military were though, a lot of the criminals. They published it in the newspaper every week. So, can you look at it? See. And, and I used to smoke cigarettes and they were so cheap in Mexico. So, yes. And yo hablo en español cada día. Yo aprendo nuevas palabras. Si cada Siempre. Siempre. Cada semana. Always. 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 I always learn new words, and that's what it takes. And me, pronunciation. Excelente. Superior. Arriba, arriba, arriba. <laughs> so, learn a few word, new words every day. Right. And then, Florida is a beautiful place, mm -hmm. but the hurricanes are truly scary. Yeah. And I knew one, when I flew out to Las Vegas the last time, the last flight out before Hurricane Katrina, I was going out there to get a scholarship and and uh, and, uh, and make a name for my college that I was going to. Uh, in my 40s, I was. Uh, and, and then we watched as the hurricane hit. Then when I was moving here, it still looked like a bomb had gone off. A year later. Yeah. So. I, I drove through southern Louisiana three years after after the hurricane. Three hurt. years? It was still a mess. Oh, it was still know? terrible. Holly Beach, Louisiana. Uh, there was nothing left. It was just wiped out. Mother Nature. And you could see houses pushed a mile and a half off the beach. You know, it was like, holy crap. Yes. And I had lived in Florida for many, many years and owned a home and owned a business. Mm -hmm. And I, it was just a matter of time before I was, I might have owned nothing but toothpicks. And now I know hurricane insurance is a thousand US dollars a month. That's crazy. It is, it is, but if you don't have it, crazier. Yeah, yeah. What do you got? Toothpicks, they don't go for money. Right. So, I, I, I actually was going to college to learn how to do something else because I worked so hard all my life. First I got the one fake hip right here, and then 2020 I got the second one. My girlfriend and I both got new hips that year, so you know, and we could remember, one of us would remember, yeah, we got that last hip in 2020. <laughs> Don't you remember during COVID? You gotta stay home, you might as well be recovering from a new hip. So, but that's how hard I worked. I wore one and a half out, and you know. And so what, 
why Mazatlan? Like um, I, I, well, because I, I lived on the border of Mexico and right. El Paso, and I have a very excellent pronunciation, right. and I blend. When I ride the bus, they include me in their jokes, because yeah. I look like I live blend here. It's good to blend. My Spanish is getting better, and, and sometimes I jump into Pomeni, and guys are surprised at how much Spanish I know. Uh-huh. And I, it's really a re- rewarding feeling, because you've worked to get it. You, you they want to help you. Yeah. They always want to yeah. help. I, I so. left here last night, because they're getting ready for the parade. When they shut the street down, I walked over to Benito Juarez, and I get this big young man, like a 400-pounder. Somehow, I, he was had a seat for me in this Pomeni, and... We had a great chat all the way home, all in Spanish, because he didn't speak any English, but he stopped at the beer store for me and took me home for 100 pesos. He was such a nice man. And it's so nice to be able, if you learn a little Spang, Sp- Spanish guy, you'll, you'll, you'll find Mazatlan so much more rewarding. And I say the wrong thing all the time, and they laugh, yeah. and they try to help me. I just try. Yeah. Me I too. just try. Exactly. And that's all it takes. Exactly, man. I think that's, I think that's all it takes. Well, Cheryl, so, uh, I, I think this has been so much fun. I know the viewers are going to love meeting you. And leave some comments. Hit that like button, guys. It's a pleasure. Pleasure meeting you. Y'all come back now. Yeah, yeah. You hear? <laughs> cool. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.